Hi, my name is Barbara Hamilton and I'm an interventional radiologist in Southern California. I was asked to make this instructional video for those entering the operating room environment for the first time. And I'll just show you some of the radiation protection equipment that I use as an interventional radiologist. So first of all, I have a protective lead cap. put my bouffant over that. It's a really nice look. Tuck all your hair in so it's not peeking out. These are special uh, prescription for me but leaded glasses and they protect me from getting cataract disease too early because uh, radiation can cause cataracts. So it's important to have proper eyewear. It's gonna be harder to hear me once I put this on, but this is a face mask, which I secure on top. I try it on. I open it up for my face and try the bottom. So important to note that none of this stuff is sterile. Uh, before I get sterile, I'm also going to put on my, this is a COVID shield. Next, I'm going to put on my lead. So I have a two-piece lead. This is the most ergonomic. You can see it wraps around in the front for twice the protection. Next I have my vest, also wraps around in the front. And it's secured with Velcro here. This is really important, it's a bad white collar. This is a nice magnetic enclosure on my new leg, so very comfortable to wear. Next, this is how you'll receive a sterile gown if you're putting it on yourself. So I grab this little tab to open up and discard that to the side. You can see the neck of the gown. And then I put my hands into these little pockets and these become my sleeves. So I'll shake it on like so. And then Scott will secure the back for me. And while he does that, I can also put on my sterile gloves. So it's important to have nice tight gloves for control with whatever you're doing during the procedure or your surgery. So I put them all like that. I also go into more detail about the glove downing in a separate video. Um, but to put on the second glove, you tuck your hand in like so. And the goal is to keep the inside sterile, or sorry, the outside sterile, obviously. I said it wrong. Then you pull this cuff up, so there's some redundancy. This is all sterile now. And then I move this cuff down, so all of this is sterile. The final step is to Take the two pieces of this coat, um, pin one piece that's not sterile as that, this thing, and now my back is completely protected and covered. Now send this into a knot. This is like an extra large gown. You may have large, which are what they're meant to be kind of one size fits all. Um, so it's okay if it looks really large, it's just the way it is. Um, but now I'm sterile and ready to go.